The world's runways have heated up with Asian fashion models taking on the challenge of becoming a top model. Asian fashion is very well positioned to be, you know, an important player in the world. And then hopefully that will snowball and that we'll see more and more Asian models everywhere, which is really exciting. There are those that have helped Asia shed the old moniker of developing fashion content to become the new fashion capital. Today we'll introduce Asia's models, who are soaring to the top as well as the people responsible for producing them. Fashion models that illuminated Asia over the last year got together in one place. It's the annual award ceremony, the Asia Model Awards taking place in Seoul. It's where people can witness the rising status of Asia's fashion industry. Well, in the 20th century, fashion was very European and North American centric. And I think the use of Caucasian models was a reflection of that. But now in the 21st century, the buying power has shifted to the Middle East and in Asia. And so fashion, as they say, follows the money. And so we're using more Asian models. But also, let's not forget that fashion loves the fresh, new, bright, beautiful thing of the moment. And that is Asian models. They are the eight girls of the moment. New York Fashion Week leads the world's latest fashion trends and the 2014 Fall Winter Summer Edition of the event. Definitely showcase the Asia fever that has taken over the global modeling industry. With smooth black hair and bamboo-like skinny figures, Asian models dominate the center stage more than ever. Korea's fashion designer Park Chun Moo is known for her avant-garde touch. This is her ninth show at New York Fashion Week. 오늘 한 3일째 지금 어 내일 쇼할 모델도 고르고 캐스팅해서 고르고 다 입히고 결정을 하는데 결정을 마지막으로 이제 결정 나는 모델이 18명 그리고 36차장을 하게 됐습니다. When she first held a fashion show in New York, hiring Asian models was not practical and difficult. However, out of 18 models walking down the runway on her show this season, two are Chinese. We probably have a higher number than ever of Asian models who are becoming quite, quite famous and, and successful. Um, I think there's always room for more. Chinese models receive the most attention. It's because they are tall with long arms and legs compared to other Asians. Their bodies are as stunning as those of Western models. Fashion Week, there have so many Chinese girls in here, and uh, everybody a uh, new face. And uh, some shows just just use the Chinese top model, so the new faces can't have so many chance to do the important show. Orientalism and minimalism has taken the world by storm ever since the beginning of the 21st century, thus putting Asian models into the spotlight. I love Asian, Chinese, Korean. I love, I love the models. Um, I like a diversity of models. Um, so um, everything to me was uh, was pretty cool. Communist China used to have negative perceptions towards fashion models until very recently. However, it has now become one of the most enviable professions. Also, the majority of Asia's representative models are Chinese. Liu Wen made her debut in 2007. She came in fifth place on the ranking for the world's highest paid models conducted by America's business magazine Forbes. She was the first Asian to make it into the top 10. Ming Zi was chosen as the face of Givenchy in 2010. She partook in 50 shows in one season and became an elite model in the industry. Season by season, fashion changes like a lot and so fast. I think it's because of the market, like the economy things, like, you know, people in China, they, they start to get um, 
to know all these brands and they start to buy it and you know it, it, fashion is all about business the consumption of luxury goods in china is drastically increasing 20 percent of the world's luxury goods are sold in china and the growth of the luxury market in the country enables chinese models to pursue their careers overseas 항상 중국인이었어요. 리우엔, 페이페이, 슈페이, 밍시, 샤오, 샤오 앤주 그렇게 랭킹에 들어가 있는 그 아이들만 쇼에서 볼수 있었거든요. 정말 그리고 핫한 이슈였고 중국에서는 매년 50명씩 뉴 페이스가 뉴욕으로 나와요. 그러니까 매년 50명씩이니까 그게 계속 누적되고 있으니까 몇백 명의 뉴 페이스가 있는 거죠. 근데 그들이랑 싸워서 살아남으려면은 튀는 수밖에 없거든요. 개성을 살리고 Korean model Hae Park burst into the fashion industry in 2008 and broke the stereotype that all Asian models are Chinese. Since Korea's fashion market is only a tenth of China's, individuality is the only weapon Korean models can yield to survive on the global stage. Also, the emergence of Park Ji Hae, who dominated the world's four major fashion weeks on her debut no longer allows people to refer to China as Asia's fashion suzerain. The stunning activities of Korean models change the image of Asian models. Korea the 